Let's have hearts open, open to those most in need. Hello. The readings these last few Sundays, and particularly as we approach the end of the church's year, towards the end of November, certainly try to focus our vision, focus our minds. But following the gospel of this coming Sunday, following our hearts, we hear a story that Jesus tells about Lazarus. Whenever I hear this story, I think of Ellesmere Port Catholic High School. It was an assembly that one of the classes did. And I remember this one energetic uh, 16-year-old really putting everything she had into communicating this story. Lazarus, not the friend of Jesus, this is a fictitious character, a story about a man who had no home, who had no means of supporting himself, would have happily fed himself on the crumbs that might have fallen from the rich man's table. It's also a story about the rich man that didn't even notice him. And when he dies, he goes to the netherworld. He goes down to Hades, to hell. And there's a dialogue speaking about the gap between him and poor Lazarus, who's poor no longer. He's in the embrace of God. This isn't a story to fill us with fear of where we might go if we don't love. It's a story to ask us to open our hearts, to ensure that we do make love our primary vocation, and especially to the hungry, to the lonely, to the sick, to the imprisoned, to the dying, to those who are caught up in the sex trade. Let's have hearts open, open to those most in need. Keep safe, take care. Please like, subscribe or comment below.